Hello everybody, yes, it's me, Jim. I'm still here doing these videos. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos on acting techniques and other stuff that I generally do, then hit the subscribe button. Now, down to business. On another video, which is my vocal warm-up video, I mentioned that I had a little exercise that I used for warming up with my consonants and vowels. Now, this is something that I was taught when I was training as an actor, and I've passed it on to all of my acting students ever since, all the way down the years, of which there's quite a few, because it's been about 20 years. Anyway, the first one is my consonants. Now, I'm sure we all know what consonants are. Hands up those who've watched Countdown. Yes, I'll have a pee, please. Um, actually, no, that's Blockbusters. I digress. Anyway, consonants are the harsher sounds. We've got our vowels, which is our A, E, I, O, U, and then we've got our consonants, which is our P's, T's, Q's. See, they're quite harsher in the sounds. So this vocal exercise, this little vocal warm-up, looks at all of the consonants in the English alphabet. So it goes like this. Trinidad and the big Mississippi and the town Honolulu and the Lake Titicaca, the Popica capital isn't in Canada, rather in Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Canada, Malaga, Rimney, Brindisi. Canada, Malaga, Rimney, Brindisi. Canada, Malaga, Rimney, Brindisi. Yes, Tibet. Now we can use this consonant warm up to do various different things. We can just say it as normal. We could say it with emotion. Trinidad and the big Mississippi and the town Honolulu and the Lake Titicaca as an example. Or we could use it for vocal modulation. We could start really quietly and gradually build our way up. Or we could do vice versa. Or we could do alternate Trinidad and the big Mississippi and the town Honolulu and the Lake Titicaca. So we could do various different things like that. I'm going to post this vocal warm up in the comments or in the description of this video so you can at least have a look and practice yourself and hopefully take it and use it as one of your little things that you use every time you warm up your vocals. So now we move on to the vowels. Vowels are really important because as far as I'm concerned, vowels is where you make the resonating sounds. So this is really good for accents. It's also very good for singing. Anybody who's seen any sort of like um, interviews with uh, singers will show you, will tell you that their uh, singing voice often sits in the resonating vowels. So the vocal warm up, the vocal warm up goes like this. He who knows aught of art must learn and take his ease. Now, I've said that with as much of a received pronunciation accent as I could muster, but we could possibly go even more. He who knows aught of art must learn and take his ease. You can hear the resonating vowel sounds in that one. Or we could use it for accents. If I adopt my uh, original accent, uh, Geordie Northeast. He who knows aught of art must learn and take his ease. Or we could go slightly further north uh, in Scotland. He who knows art of art must learn and take his ease. And you hear how the vowel sounds change. They shorten or lengthen. Really nice lengthener is the Australian accent. He who knows art of art must learn and take his ease. There's probably a few Australians out there thinking that was terrible. And you're probably right, but this is just a demonstration video. Um, so there we go. So there we have our consonants, Trinidad and the Big Mississippi, and the vowels. He who knows aught of art. Have a look at the, the warm-up in the description. Have a practice yourself. Why not post a few uh, online and send me the links. I'd love to see what you've got. Uh, anyway, that is it for me for now. See you on another video. All the best. Bye-bye.